Now that the general shape is in place, the next thing that we need to do is add materials to the sofa so that it looks appropriate for what it is. Now you can either use a cloth material or what I plan on using will be a leather material. And to add those materials, I'll begin by just selecting on any of these objects that make up the sofa itself. Then underneath properties, one of the options will be materials and finishes. Next to material, click where it has by category. Then you'll see a little button to the right hand side. Select on that button. In the material browser, we can see that there aren't that many materials actually loaded into a typical furniture family. So we'll need to make an adjustment so that we have the kind of material that we want. Where there's a, the gray circle with the blue plus sign, click that button, which is create and duplicates material, and then select create new material. Right click on this default new material, which was just created, and then select on rename. Now, if you want a cloth material, you can type in whatever that material's name is. I'm typing in leather because I want a leather material, but it's totally up to you which kind of material that you choose for this sofa. After you've typed in a name, click on Opens Closes Asset Browser. And that opens up the Asset Browser, which gives us a list of all the materials which have loaded with Revit. Now I know that I want leather. Now if you wanted cloth, you could type in cloth. If you had a specific kind of cloth, you could type in that name and see if it came up. Right now, there's options here for dark brown. I may have more options as well if I click on the fabric here, and I can see that I do. And I, so I could choose on any of these kinds of fabrics. So it's totally up to you what kind of fabric it is that you decide to use. I'll just stick with this dark brown fabric, though I could have chosen any of the fabrics off of the list. Next, I'll click on Replaces the Current Asset in the Editor, with this asset, we can now see that it's updated the appearance. This is the way that it will look when it's finally rendered out. Also, if I click on graphics, I can put a check mark next to use render appearance. That means that inside of the Revit environment, when it's not trying to do a rendering, it'll look like leather, or at least it'll look brown. With leather selected, I'll click on OK. Then I'll click somewhere out in this direction. Now, right now, it's hard to tell that anything has happened. But if we go to our visual styles and then turn on shaded, we'll then be able to see this is the color that it displays as in Revit. Or we can turn on realistic to get maybe just a little bit more detail as far as that material is concerned. Now, based off of the material that you took, it may look dramatically different, the material, than what I have. So it just depends on which material that you've chosen. Next. If you hold down the control key on the keyboard and then select on multiple mass objects, you can assign materials to multiple objects at one time. Personally, I want to have this leather material for the entire sofa. So what I'll do is under properties where we have material, I'll click in by category. I'll click in the little box, make sure that leather has been selected, click on okay, then click off. And now I have that leather material for this entire sofa. Right now we have a lot of shades and shadows inside of this view, which is making it a little bit harder to see. So I think that I'll change my visual style now to be shaded. Then click on front for the front elevation view.